Hello all, welcome to Rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we split larger files in BIP using a function called Aura hash function. Okay, so let us understand what is this hash function and how do we use it, and we'll also see a demo. So Aura hash is a PL SQL function which takes three input parameters out of three, two are mandatory. Okay, and now the first one here, if you observe the expr argument, that is a column or parameter which we have to pass on the data in which you want to construct a hash function. And the next one is a max bucket. That is a value which we have to pass, like what is the maximum value you're expecting from the hash function. So nothing but this hash function will consider two parameters. Okay, one as an example, let us say if you want to consider generating up a party file or a party party names data and you know like what we can do is we can pass the expr as a party id and the maximum bucket can be like a, based on the number of files you want to generate let us say we want to generate only two files we'll just pass one okay so nothing but because the maximum bucket starts with zero so nothing but we'll pass one so that it will generate two files one is with a zero and another one is a one okay so let me show you the query how do we construct so in this example here if you observe what we are trying to do is we want to construct a hash function on which particular column like a party id and now like this seed value is input parameter on which what we want to do is like uh, let us say if i want to generate a number of files so this seed value have should have that file let us say if i want to generate five files i'll pass four here let us say if i want to generate 10 files i'll pass nine here because the index starts with zero to nine and this example, we are trying to generate all the party data, which belongs to US and uh, maximum number of records, a thousand we are expecting. And similarly here, what we want to do is like, as we know that like in the BIP, if at all, if you want to generate the file to send, I mean, if you want to generate the BIP report and to send the file to a multiple channels, like an email, FTP or a printer or a fax, right? Then we have to use a busting, right? So in the busting, what we have done is we have, like uh, the busting, this sample is for the busting, was sending the busting output to an email, and you'll find a similar logic here. And we have to pass the appropriate parameter mentioned, like uh, what is the channel, what is the destination email, and what is the key here on which you want to split, right? And then the remaining same similar query, okay? And then the next thing what we have what we have done is like uh, registering this particular BIP report as a ESS job, okay? And this particular screenshot shows that, and this is our report name. The display name is a report name and this is an internal name and uh, let me show you some of the parameters like uh, when you're registering the BIP report in the ESS job as a busting report make sure that you select this particular parameter busting report and also we have provided the parameter the seed value okay and once this is done what we can do we can just run the report and here if you provide if you see the output like uh, it was generating two files right and also you can see the email which we have received right so let me show the output in the instance like uh, just navigate to the instance now Okay, so this is a data model query. And here, if you observe, we just have three parameters, like a three columns, hash key, party ID and party number. And in the data, let us say if I pass the input parameter, if I pass two, you can just see the set of things here. Right? You can see the hash with the zero, one, and two. Let us say if I pass only one, we'll see the records with the hash of only zero and one, nothing but this hash key will range from zero to that maximum value one. I can say like that. The hash key starts with zero and the seed value, based on the seed value is nothing but the maximum value, okay? Now, how this generates, let us say for party number, this uh, party number, this one, it has zero and for other one, it is, it is one. So it depends upon the hash functional, hash internal, hash functionality. Okay, now once this is done, so now what we can do is like we are just simply grouping the data based on the hash key. So that is done by the busting. So in the busting, what are we doing? We are splitting the data based on the hash key and also delivering the data based on the hash key. So once this is done, and you can see the sample also, let us say if I'll try to run this one, schedule new job. Right, and now let's say provide the input. Okay, so. So this one, the one which is ending 835. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay. 
So now it generated two files, right? Test zero and test one. So why it generated only two files? Because we have provided the value as one, right? Similarly, let us say, you can just try. I'll just provide five, right? So it'll provide the value zero to five, nothing but total six files it has to provide. zero to five. So now the splitting is happening because of the busting and, but how the busting is designing the splitting is based on the hash key, right? So now for a given set of data, let us say you have one lakh records and instead of generating a single file, what you can do is you can generate that one lakh records into maybe like a 10,000 each, nothing but 10 files. So to split that particular data, what you can do is you can use a hash function and you can split the data accordingly, which will help you to solve like a, like a, if at all, if your particular system is not capable to read larger file, this is one of the very simple solution using which you can split the data. Okay, thank you.